hello all welcome to tech trapture myself vishal bulbule and in this session we are going to see about a cloud function so first we'll uh, get a small introduction about a cloud function and then we'll start with the creating cloud function and how we can create or manage our cloud function so just to go with our introduction so cloud function is a lightweight serverless and uh, single purpose compute service uh, which executes a code in fully managed uh, Google environment. So we could say it's a very lightweight and it's not useful when you have a large web application, but uh, you can use the cloud function for any specific operation based on your events. Uh, so just uh, this is how cloud function works. So the cloud events are things that happen in your cloud environment. Why it is called uh, event based? Because the cloud function execute based on the event triggers. So the event triggers can be your HTTP call or your cloud storage bucket event or your pop sub event. So we'll see that one by one. So suppose uh, here is the typical workflow for your cloud function. So there is a cloud storage bucket and anyone uploads the file inside a bucket then you want to perform operation or each uploaded file then you can create a event as a upload or a create file and once any file is uploaded you can execute your cloud function that event trigger your cloud function and then your cloud function can perform that operation and it can trigger to other API or it can write back to the same cloud storage bucket based on the code you are mentioning inside your uh, cloud function so cloud cloud function can be triggered using your cloud storage bucket or http call or a cloud pub sub or a cloud logging so without wasting much time on introduction i will go to the google cloud console and i will go to cloud function so in this demo in this demo we are going to create one cloud function so this is a use case i am going to use uh, for our uh, cloud function so there is a one bucket source 01 src 01 where users upload file to this bucket and my cloud function will check if file size is greater than 1 mb then it will move to the another bucket this is called a destination bucket bkt dst001 and if file size is less than 1 mb then it will just exit with a message so this use case we are going to perform so first of all i will go to storage and we'll show you the bucket we have created Okay, so I have created this SRC001 and DST001 bucket. So currently here is nothing greater than 1 MB. So once our function is created and deployed, I will upload a file which is having size greater than 1 MB and our cloud function should move this file or like copy this file to this a uh, DST folder. So currently nothing is here. So let me go to the new tab and open a cloud function. So I will open a cloud function here. Okay, I will click on a create cloud function. So whenever uh, we create a cloud function it enable uh, some api or if it is not enabled it asks us to enable api so it will use your cloud function api as well as a cloud build api so this is a second generation as well uh, introduced by google recently but i will be using a first generation cloud function only so i'll just give the name as my site checker as it is checking the size site checker function region i will give you as central one now trigger type i am not choosing https because i am monitoring the event in my cloud storage bucket so i will use a cloud storage and event type i am using finalizing or creating file 
in my bucket so we can create on delete also and i'll give the bucket source bucket i will give which bucket should trigger my cloud function so i have selected src001 bucket okay and for now i will click save here then i will go to runtime so here in runtime we have option so i'll just go to next i will not choose anything now here in runtime you have to choose from any one of the service or like a language so i will choose a python 3.7 instead of node.js and now here you will see its change syntax to python now here you will see a two file main.py and requirement.txt so in main.py you will write your code whatever code or logic you want to write for your cloud function and requirement.txt you will write a packages which you need uh, while executing your code so first i have copy code here in my main.py so i have code i'll just copy paste it okay so i have this code which check the size of the file and then it move the file to the another bucket okay let me verify this okay and here you could see it's the size in bytes so it is a 1 mb size so all these parameter i have given here i will give the correct project name so my project name is gcp june a these are my source and destination bucket i'm just correcting the name okay now see uh, what are the packages required so i am using this uh, google cloud storage so for safer side i will add that uh, in my requirement.txt so i will add uh, these two packages in my requirement.txt okay now my function is uh, ready to deploy okay so whenever uh, there is file gets uploaded inside so whenever there is a file uploaded inside this src01 it will trigger my function and in my function i have written the logic where it will check for the file size if file size is greater than this uh, 1 mb then it will look for it will just copy file to destination bucket okay so i am just writing it to delete a file so it will just move the file okay now i will uh, deploy my function so it will take a couple of minutes so meanwhile i'll pause my video so it will take a uh, time uh, to deploy my function so meanwhile i'll pause this uh, video okay uh, our function is deployed now you could see this function is active if uh, for any reason your function is failing to deploy uh, you can check the logs in your cloud build so whenever this function is deployed it use a cloud build for deployment so i'll just uh, go to cloud build just to show you a log so if you go to cloud build Okay, so here you could see the time one minute one second it took and it is a time like a four minute ago okay I clicked on a wrong button let me go back to my build cloud build okay so I'll click on this uh, build ID and you could see on the execution log of your a cloud function 
so here it is performing all operation and if it is failing you can check this log inside your cloud build okay now i'll check the cloud function so i'll go to cloud function and i'll just explore uh, what a, what is there inside my cloud function so here you could see in details uh, you have this service account in source uh, you have the source code main.py and requirement.txt variable uh, currently you don't have anything trigger it is having cloud storage bucket so any event on this bucket uh, this event type will trigger your cloud function and here the main thing you will have a logs okay now i will go and i will upload a file to my uh, source bucket not destination source bucket i will upload a file i will purposefully upload the file which is having size greater than 1 mb so let me select the file you might not see uh, my screen because i only shared a window so i am uploading one uh, pdf file uh, okay here upload started you could see and a file is uploaded so here this 1.7 mb file is uploaded now and we'll go to our destination bucket and if our function is successful okay it's successful within few seconds and you could see the file is available here and let's see in source bucket yeah and file is moved from source bucket to destination within a seconds now we'll see how our cloud function executed we'll go to logs and i'll just refresh Okay, now here you could see the function execution started processing file this file we uploaded Google Cloud PDF and this check the file size here and you could see the size it's 1.7 MB so size is 7 MB so this file is moved from source 001 to destination 00 M and this also checked for remaining three files which are having size less than 1 mb so it didn't move that file it only moved the file which we uploaded and function finished with status ok it means ok means success and if our function failed it will show the status as crashed so in this way we executed this flow user uploaded the file to this bucket if file size is greater than 1 mb it moved the file to destination bucket it know it will exit with a message now I will purposefully upload the file which is having size less than 1 MB I'll go to source bucket and I will upload the file which is a size I'll just upload the file of 260 KB Okay, now this cloud function dot pdf is a 260 kb of file so i keep refreshing this file won't get moved because it is having size less than 1 mb and even you see the logs it will show the same message the file size is less than 1 mb okay here you could see the function execution started and you could see there is no message like file mood all file size is below 1 MB now I will upload again file with size greater than 1 MB
okay i uploaded the file here and within a seconds file moved to destination bucket yeah here because it was having size 1.8 mb so in this way we can uh, create a cloud function based on the event so this is one sample use case i have explained based on the storage bucket event whenever there is a new object on the bucket it will treat as a event and it will trigger our cloud function so this is a use case of a cloud function so let me know if you have any question on a cloud function thank you for watching this video